Hi, I'm going to talk to you now about an interesting product we have on the TV Trade.ie website and they're called Brick Busters, okay? And basically they're just purely and utterly for um, visual effect. Um, a very common uh, job you'd have to do if you're installing a satellite dish or you've had one installed recently is uh, what the installer will normally do is he'll simply drill a hole directly through your external wall uh, inside and um, this can lead to, uh, so normally what, what will happen is they'll drill from the inside out. Now they'll do this for two reasons. The first reason they're going to drill from inside out is um, they just want to, for a safety perspective, they don't want to hit um, the you know, power mains or a gas line or drill through a piece of timber or something like this and, and split your skirting board. And then the second thing is what can happen when you actually drill directly through. So for these two holes that I have here, the two cables have pushed through, I've drilled from this side, and if we look at the far side of the block, which would re obviously represent the outside of your house, just pull these cables quickly back through, and you can see what happens is, quite common, a large, large piece of mortar like this breaks off, okay? So um, this is obviously quite unsightly, and be even worse if this particular section here had been painted, okay? So normally what most professional installers will do at that point is, they'll simply push down the cable like this, They'll use something like a double clip here, clip this into position, and they'll silicone this hole to stop any water going in. Now it's important that you feed the cable down, because if you fed the cable from above like this, coming directly from the satellite dish, what will happen is the water will fill it, follow the cable and into your house and possibly directly into the box and might blow your box eventually. So it's important here to feed the cable down. But you're still left with um, a safe as in the thing, but it mightn't be overly um, pretty. So what we do at that point normally is we'd use something like a brick buster and you can see here um, this particular shape it comes in okay so it's shaped like this and what it'll obviously do is it, it clip onto the wall over your thing and now it becomes goes from being unsightly to quite neat so how to actually fix this to the wall if i just turn this over quite um first one i'm just going to show you here you can see a light a light outline here of where the plastic is thinner at two particular points top and bottom corners. i am actually just turn this over here now. You'll see what this is. That this corresponds to a thin piece of plastic here at either end. And that's to make uh, tacking this onto the wall quite easy. Okay? So where will we get the tacks for this? Well, an ideal location to get them is it just simply to use, um, if you have some cable clips, just come along and pull the cable clip out. You might need the help of a snips and pull it out like this. So what you'll do then is you simply line up uh, the cable, uh, the clip or the, the nail directly over the thin part of the plastic and you simply tap it through like this and suddenly then we have this and we'll do the same in the top corner and we'll nail it on like this. Now if you have extremely heavy concrete putting a nail in can be extremely frustrating okay. Now one additional product you could buy in conjunction with this are called um, the nail plugs, okay? So these are small plastic plugs here. I'll just show you them in my hand here. They're very, very tiny. You need a 5.5 millimeter drill bit to drill them. They come in boxes of 100. What you do is you just drill the holes here in the corresponding spots, okay? Probably just mark them initially with the thing. Um, drill the hole in and then insert this plastic into the concrete and then you can just tap them in quite lightly. So for, for professionals who will come across extremely old concrete, particular concrete that was poured you know, 40 years ago, something like this can be ideal. Now just one other product I'm quickly going to mention on this is on the internal, you could use this product here will almost exclusively be used on the external of your house. It comes in white and um, red. Uh, which is really sufficient to cover almost all um, uh, external of, of, of walls. Um, if I just turn this back around here, uh, an alternative product that we'd use on the inside possibly in conjunction with this, but I can actually demonstrate on the outside. This here is a 10 millimeter, a 16 millimeter hole for a double cable. This is a 10 millimeter hole. And we can use another product called the Grommet, for these products here. And what we'd actually do here is they come in black and white. Okay, and what we'd actually do is we just pull out this cable here and we just push this in here, we'll tap it in with a hammer, and maybe I'll just push it from this side to demonstrate it. It just pushes straight through like this, and that gives a very, very neat finish on the internals of your house. So th these are just a few aesthetic products we stock, but they're very, very popular, and if you want to leave a professional finish, both um, to your own house, or particularly if you're a professional installer and want to do good workmanship, these products are very, very cheap, um, but I mean, they, they have the desired effect. So that's a, an overview of um, the, the primarily of these two products here, which are called Brick Busters, which we sell on tvtrade.ie.